What does celebrity look like, Easter, and Rhodes all have in common? I don't think they have anything in common. Well, actually, they're all on the show this week. I'm Brianna Goppert. And I'm Haley Holden. Today is Friday, April 7th, and Wave TV starts now. Before we start our show, we have some words from the district superintendent regarding school safety in light of recent events. Um, you know, bad things are going to happen when you have 26,000 students and almost 4,000 employees in a county of 170,000 people. It's all about how you respond, right? It's all making sure that you follow your protocols. It's making sure that you're communicating. You have wonderful partnerships like we have with our sheriff's department, Somerville PD, North Charleston PD. You know, and then our own safety team. It's making sure we integrate together and we have the annual tabletop exercise to make sure that when we have a disaster or a crisis, we respond together in a unified command format. That's the only way these things work. And, and I will tell you the bad situations we've had could have been much worse, much worse, but our protocols are working. And our students are working because they're the ones that identified the threat and we were able to eliminate the threat with any issues. It doesn't come without a level of inconvenience to keep kids safe in our schools. So if I have all the doors locked and I don't let you in, there's a reason. If we're on a hold and I don't let kids move around the building, there's a reason. And it's to make sure that we're doing our due diligence to maintain a very safe environment. Because the very worst phone call or the very worst visit I'll ever have to make is that something happens to one of our community members' children. To start things off, Evan Glenn talks about the Mississippi tornado. I think it's coming right for us. On late Friday, March 24th, seven tornadoes touched down in Mississippi, the largest being an EF4 tornado with speeds up to 170 miles per hour. The tornado traveled through the towns of Rolling Fork, Midnight, and Silver City in western Mississippi, causing mass destruction along the whole path. There were six other tornadoes ranging from two EF3 tornadoes and four EF1 tornadoes all over western Mississippi. The seven tornadoes caused mass destruction and took the life of 26 people. Mississippi's governor, Tate Reese, gave a moving speech the day after the deadly tornadoes about the relief plans and how they want to bring everyone together during these difficult times. Uh, I want to personally thank uh, President Biden and his team for very quickly signing the emergency declaration that we sent up on yesterday. Uh, obviously, uh, the resources that the people here in Rolling Fork and throughout Mississippi need, uh, it, uh, the help is on the way. We can only hope for the best and send our condolences to the people of Mississippi. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Evan Glenn. This is a devastating event that is still affecting people to this day. Next up, Ava Grafton talks about the Nashville school shooting. On March 27th, 2023, a mass shooting took place at the Covenant School a private Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee. The shooter has been identified as former student of the school, 28-year-old Audrey Hale. The shooting resulted in the deaths of six people, nine-year-olds Evelyn Deakhouse, William Kinney, and Hallie Scruggs, as well as three adults, substitute teacher Cynthia Peak, custodian Mike Hill, and head of the school, Catherine Coons. Hale was killed on site by police at 10.27 a.m., 14 minutes after the initial 911 call was made. Hale arrived at the building at 9.54 a.m. and parked in the school parking lot. Armed with two rifles and a handgun, they entered the school at 10.11 a.m. by shooting through a set of glass doors on the side of the building. Hale walked around the second floor of the school, shooting multiple rounds into several classrooms. Officers entered the building at 10.25 a.m. when they were informed that two students were missing. The first floor of the building was evacuated while officers began searching each room for Hale. Five officers proceeded upstairs where they spotted Hale firing through a window at arriving police vehicles. Officers fired eight rounds at the attacker. Ballistic reports show that Hale fired a total of 152 rounds while in the building. The shooting at the Covenant School has marked the 17th school shooting to take place in 2023. Many in both online spaces and on the Congress floor have seen the incident in Nashville as a call to action, advocating for stricter gun laws. 
President Biden has petitioned Congress to reimpose a ban on assault weapons, stating that gun violence is ripping at the soul of the nation. Uh, we have to do more to stop gun violence. It's ripping our communities apart. On Monday, over 1,000 Nashville area students gathered outside the Tennessee state capitol to demand stronger gun laws in the aftermath of the shooting. More to come on this story as investigators dive further into the shooter's possible motive. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Ava Grafton. We send our condolences to the victims and their families. There have been some road changes here around Somerville. Trevor Semino tells us more. If you haven't already noticed, there's major construction over on Maple Street in the surrounding area. The project does not just include Maple Street, but intersection improvements at US 78, adding turn lanes on all approaches, installation of a traffic signal at West Richardson Avenue, and new alignment from West Richardson to Parsons Road, where it will transition from three lanes to two lanes at the Parsons Road connection. The cost of this project, including construction, engineering, and inspection services, will be funded by the Town of Somerville's tax increment funds up to $11 million. Somerville Mayor Ricky Waring says that the Maple Street Extension Project will help alleviate traffic congestion and improve safety. Hopefully this construction will get done soon so we can go back to normal. Reporting for Wave TV, I'm Trevor Samino. Thank goodness the road is back open. That will make my ride home so much smoother. We all see how Congress feels about TikTok, but DJ Ellis took to the halls to hear your opinion. Apparently, Congress is coming together to ban TikTok. Mm. Let's go around the school to see what the students think. Do you have TikTok? I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes. Do you feel like TikTok should be banned? Mm-mm. No. I don't. Let's see, my activity schedule would be very, very useless. Would you keep on using TikTok if China spied on you? I would. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Of course, I'm going to still use it. No. Mm, and why? Because they spawned on me. That, that's my privacy. I'm not, no. What do I have the song part? It doesn't really affect me. Because it's TikTok. I be laughing. And the comments be more funny, too. I mean, just all they're seeing is just me liking pages about cats. Mm. Mm. Okay, y'all heard them. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so y'all heard that, Somerville. A few just don't care. And most of them don't play that. From Way TV. I'm the one and only F-A-B-U-L-O-U-A-S, DJ Ellis. Well, I sure hope they don't ban TikTok. I hope not either. Ronnie Springer and Ozzy Danzler gives us some cool things to do over spring break. It's spring, and we're all ready for a break. So here at Way TV, we prepare some cool activities for you to do this spring break. For starters, you can simply go outside and enjoy what nature has to offer. The insects, the flowers, the fresh air, just go outside and have a blast. Relaxing and winding down can be fun to do over spring break. And oh look, it's me. Spending time with friends or even finishing schoolwork can be enjoyable. But no one likes schoolwork over spring break. Just get it done beforehand. We hope these ideas can make your spring break a little bit more fun. From Wave TV, I'm Ozzy Dantzler. And I'm Rodney Spigner. Let's see what celebrity lookalikes we have here at Somerville with Solomon Malott and Hallie Driggers. Howdy, we can see you there. We're about to take the halls of Somerville to see y'all's celebrity lookalikes. Let's go! So what is your celebrity lookalike? I don't really think I have any, but my mom says I look like Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds. She watches it all the time. Quavo. You like Kevin Gates. If you had a celebrity lookalike, who do you think it would be? Kalia's a celebrity herself. Like, she already is a celebrity. Probably like Beyonce. Yes. Oh, is that right? Yes! Yay! People have said that I look like the kid from Meet the Robinsons. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking Dexter, though. That guy kind of looks like my brother. We've moved to the dance room. He is now about to do a backflip for us. Hey! Who's your celebrity lookalike? All right, so most people say I like the fish or fish tails. Are you sure? I'm thinking more like like the Kool Aid Man. All right, thank you, thank you. Miranda sings. People always say I look like Regina George. <gasps> oh my gosh, you kind of do. Shaq. I see it. Maybe for a bit like shorter though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm people. I, I get that a lot. People mistake me for Shaq. They walk out, they be like, oh, 
Do you play for the Lakers? I'd be like, nah, it's fine. Well, that went pretty well. Reporting from Wave TV, I'm Olivia Rodrigo. And I'm Chad from High School Musical. And I'm Blue from Rio. Well, I get told I look like Jenna Ortega. And people tell me I look like Piper from Henry Danger. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Oh, sorry, we're making a behind the scenes TikTok. Go check out our TikTok. It's Wave TV News, all lowercase. That's all we have for you this week, Somerville. Have, have a, a great, great spring break. break.